Hey guys, my name is Marcus Gaming. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my E92 335i. It is a 2013. It has the N55 engine in it. Well, today I'm going to be installing a front mount air cooler in it. Uh, it's one of the first upgrades a lot of people like to do. The factory one is notorious for not being good enough for this car. Okay guys, so this is the intercooler that I bought. Um, it's a 5 inch stepped front mount. I went with this one because I wanted something that would be a direct replacement for the one that's already in the car, which is the factory one. Uh, I went with the stealth black because, well, it goes with the color scheme of the car anyway. Plus, I like it to be a little bit stealthier. I don't want it to stand out quite that much. So guys, I'm underneath the car now. Uh, to get to the front mount, it's actually mounted right here underneath this skid plate. So we got to take off all these little bolts. There's like 10,000 of them to hold this thing on. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, now that I got the skid plate off, uh, you can see the factory front mount right here. There are your factory connections right here that are held on by these little clips. So we got to take both those clips off, one on this side, one on that side. All right, guys, so the only thing that actually holds in those front mounts is this little torque screw right here. There's one on this side and there's one on the other side. Once we take those out, this front mount should just drop down. All right, so just pull the hoses back. Should give us enough room. This fender liners be a little better out of the way. Let's see what we could do here. Oh, still cut a little bit on this one. There we go. Look at that. Let's see, am I gonna have to take off these fender liners? I'm just gonna slide right out. Go with that right out. There we go. Ooh, it is dirty under here. There we go, guys. So, guys, now that I got both of them sitting here on the floor, we can take a look at the difference between the two, and like it is quite a difference. Like, if you just sit both of them next to each other you can see how much bigger this one is all right guys so this is the hardware that comes with the new intercooler uh, these are your replacement o-rings that go on the piping so you can see the little green one right there on the end of there we'll have to change those out uh, these ones are actually the front mount is actually held on differently than the factory ones so the factory this is the factory screw and then they're getting replaced with these little studs that are gonna be the replacement and these are gonna hold on the new intercooler. So I've already screwed on one of the nuts, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna screw a nut on there and then you're just gonna screw it into place where the old one went and then these will be your studs that are gonna hold it on. And then you're gonna use a washer and another nut on the back side, and that's gonna sandwich the intercooler in place. All right, guys, so to make a little bit room and a little bit easier on myself, I went ahead and pulled out the fender liners. So as you can see, they're down here. I pulled them both out on each side. They're actually pretty easy to do. They're only a couple of little bolts, and you can see it laying over there that hold them in. Same as the skid plate is. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and install the new screw right into the place of where the old one went, right there. And then once we get both of those in place, we can put our front mount in. Now, I've watched a few videos, and there's a lot of people that talk about having to pull out this little bracket that goes up here, or I'm not even sure what it is, a little plate. I'm not sure what it does, but everybody says I need to pull it out, so I went ahead and did that. 
Throw that in the garbage. It's moment of truth, guys. Let's see if this thing fits in here. Well, good thing I took the fender liners off. It's a little bit more snug. Hoses back where they go. Kind of what's stopping me at the moment. Let's get one of these studs started, or one of the nuts. Hopefully, it doesn't fall down on me. There's one. Oh, just through the net. And this last one. Can I get the hose in place? How close are we? Oh, we're really close. Hmm. There we go. That on there. I can get the nut started. There we go. Look at that, guys. In place. Alright, so now I just gotta tighten these nuts up. these hoses back on here. Yeah. That fits like a glove. So the only thing we got left to do is to put the clips back on with the hoses and then put the skid plate back on. All right, now that I got my front mount installed, uh, I'm gonna go in here and use my MHD flasher to flash to the next tune up. Uh, so right now I don't have a down pipe, so I'm still at stage one, but this will put me at stage one plus. I do live in Nevada, so I'm gonna use the ACN 91 octane tune. I'm gonna go here and use the, look at my options. All right, so I still have a catted downpipe on here. I do plan on getting a different downpipe on this vehicle, but for right now, I'm going to stick with the stock one. Uh, not too far down the road, I do plan on getting one. For my autocross class, I do have to have one that is catted, so I'll end up getting something with a race cat installed, probably the VRSF catted downpipe. Uh, I do have the option on here to do an exhaust burble, but I personally don't like burbles in my exhaust when I let off, so I just keep that turned off. Look, everything seems to be right. Uh, coolant target. Let's see here. We got stock, sport, and track. Uh, I'm just going to keep it in sport. This weekend, I am heading to a track event, and I will probably go ahead and change that to the track setting once I get out there. So right now, it's already it's connected to my vehicle. 
Let's see here. How long is this going to take? Usually it's pretty quick. Oop, got to turn the key on. Oh, there we go. Or at least start the vehicle. So, I'm used to having an access port on my Subaru, so the first time that I actually did this, I was quite amazed at how fast this actually goes. So, as you can see, we're already at 10%, and it moves this fast. There's less than a minute left to flash the whole thing. Anytime that I want to go in and I want to change anything, it takes me but a minute or two to flash anything in there. So, if I do later down the road want to put an exhaust burble back on this, I can do that. It only takes me a couple minutes. I just got to plug in my little... MHD OBD2 port flasher that I got going down there or the uh, the little Bluetooth connector So it's kind of a little bit weird the first time that I actually flashed anything on here That it always comes up with all kinds of messages saying that I have malfunctions and all the lights on the dash come on But as soon as this thing's done like we got five seconds left It restarts the DME Races all my codes. I just got to turn everything off for about 30 seconds. Look, it's already done. So I'm going to turn this off for about 30 seconds and then we're going to start it up and we're going to go for a test drive. All right, so I finished up the installation of the front mount intercooler. It was quite an easy job. Anybody with some basic cancels could do it. Uh, I didn't have run into any problems. Everything seemed to fit perfectly for this one. I'd give it a good thumbs up for each for the quality of it so far. Uh, driving it around everything seems to be normal. I've done a pull already and I like the way it felt. It was nice and smooth and it felt like it pulled pretty strong. Woo! Woo! So I got a track event this weekend at Thunder Hill Raceway West. Uh, We'll see how it goes out there. Last time we were out there, it was 103 during the middle of the day, so everybody kind of quit early. Everybody's car didn't like it being that hot. I just looked at the weather before I started driving, and it's supposed to be 92. It is a bit cooler, but it's still a bit hot for my taste, honestly. Well, I'll let you know how everything goes at the racetrack. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. All right, so I got the front mount installed on the car, and as you guys can see, it's actually really hard to see it. And that's kind of what I was going for. That's why I chose the black one. I wanted you to have to actually get up here and look. See that there's a different front mount on the car. And with that, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you like what you saw, smash that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So I also post on Instagram from time to time. So please follow me there. And I'll see you guys next video. Thank you.